everybody. Welcome to Just Up Right. My name is Doc Jean Ruder. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm a certified dementia practitioner. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It will really help me and my team and we really appreciate it a lot. Okay. And also we have a Facebook group, uh, Just Up Right Therapy US, Instagram, and TikTok. Okay. So today I'm going to discuss, guys, um, answer the question that many of the foreign trained therapists are asking, how to transition from a bachelor degree in physical therapy to a master's degree or master's equivalent. As of the recording of this video, um, the FCCPT requires a master's degree or master's equivalent for you to apply here to the U.S. and practice as physical therapist for your credentialing process. So um, I'm going to share with you guys what I did, but of course you have to research and know your own situation and um, unique circumstances depending on where you graduated, what year you graduated. It varies, you know, from country to country, from year to year. So what I did is actually ask my classmates who went before me here to the U.S. and ask them what are the subjects that they took, okay? What are the deficient subjects um, from a bachelor degree in our year, the year that we graduated, the year 2000, to a master's degree? And also some of my students I was teaching in Review Center by the time, uh, they're taking the courses as well. I went and enrolled to the school in Manila, uh, the PRI. They were offering this uh, three subjects. So the three subjects missing uh, from the year that I graduated based on our school's curriculum, okay, or course description, uh, are cultural competence, CSRD, it's a consultation, screening, referral, and delegation. And lastly is emergency procedures, okay? So those were the three subjects that I was missing to suffice the FCCPT requirement back then. Okay, so after I finished taking those subjects, I requested and of course paid the school to send those uh, documents, and the syllabi, the course description, uh, straight to FCCPT. Okay, that's what FCCPT wants. You, you cannot send your own document. You cannot request a copy of those syllabi and course description and submit it from you to FCCPT. FCCPT wants it from the school straight to them. So, of course, you have to coordinate to the school and ask the school. Um, I'm applying to FCCPT. Kindly submit this course description, the syllabi to FCCPT. Okay, so uh, the best thing to do, guys, is wherever you are in your country, um, if you have a colleague who are already here in the U.S. or already ahead of you processing, you know, get in touch with them, ask them what did they do, what subjects did they take, what school did they get it from, okay? Or what you can do is go to the school, your school or other uh, physical therapy school, and and then ask them, you know, inquire, email, call, and say that I graduated this year. I'm applying to FCCPT. What are the courses that I need to take to suffice the deficient subjects from bachelor degree to a master's degree? Okay, so that is what I did. And that is back then, it's really cheap to do it that way. Okay. So guys, I also reach out to other colleagues and ask what school are offering the bridge program from bachelor to master's. And these are some of the answers I got. AT Still University in Arizona and College of uh, St. Scholastica. They're offering online courses for U.S. equivalency requirement. Another one said University of Montana also offered the courses. Okay, so... Uh, get in touch with the school, inquire, email, verify if the courses they're offering is accepted by FCCPT, okay? So I just want to point out that um, those people asking me, should I get the division subjects first uh, or should I just take the DPT program, okay? So I have a video for that. Uh, you can watch it, um, MSPT versus DPT, okay? So in that video, I answered, if you have time, maybe you can take the DPT if you have the resources. 
uh, the MSPT or transitioning to a master's equivalent is a lot cheaper and faster to suffice the required uh, deficiency uh, for FCCPT than to go through a DPT program, but of course, to each his own. And so depending on your unique situation, which one you want uh, to go. So you can watch that video. Okay, so uh, I hope that answered that question. And um, please check out my books available at Amazon.com. Okay, the links are down below. And please uh, spread the word, uh, the course on the step-by-step -step, uh, procedure or guideline on how to apply here to the U.S. as physical therapist is available at JustUprightTherapy.com under courses uh, starting February 1, 2022. So I will walk you from start till end so that your burden will be lighter. Your, you know, you will uh, avoid delays. Okay, unnecessary delays, headaches, and frustrations in uh, applying here to the U.S., okay? So, thank you so much for watching. Please, again, subscribe, share, and follow us on our social media platform. Thank you so much, guys, and until the next video, stay blessed.